In this video, I'll be showing you how to do intermediate cube shape. So normally what you want to do for a beginner method is make the 8 first and do the algorithm to solve the 8, which is pretty slow. So for this intermediate method, instead of knowing one algorithm to solve the puzzle, we're actually going to learn two. So here are the two base cases you can call them. So first one is this one, or it's called scallop to scallop. We have four here and a four here. And the algorithm goes something like this. A very easy way to visualize the algorithm is for the 8 8 algorithm, it's basically a one move setup into this case. So, whenever you get this case, just visualize the 8, ignore the first move, and then do the rest of the algorithm. Here's the second case. Again, you have scalp on top, but on bottom, you have kite, which is what this is called. For this case, do this algorithm. Also, quite a short algorithm. And also has the scallop on top, which is the key to this method. So as you can see, both methods had a scallop on top, whether it was scallop scallop or scallop kite. So yeah, those are two algorithms that you have to memorize. The first one should be quite easy, the second one should be a bit harder, but it also isn't too bad. Now it's quite important that both algorithms have the four on top, because that's actually kind of a method. So for the CS method, what you want to do is try to build as many edges first on top. So you're trying to make that scallop on top maybe. And then from there, you have two options. If it's easier to build the kite on bottom, then do the kite on bottom and then do scallop kite. If it's easier to do the scallop on bottom, do the scallop and then do scallop scallop. So the first step is to get three to four edges on top. That'll be pretty nice. This can usually be done in one slice or two. So it's actually quite simple. In this case, I can just bring up this like that. And now we have three in a row. Now from here, you want to evaluate whether it's easier to go to scallop kite or scallop scallop. To do this, let's take a closer look at the base cases. So first, scallop scallop. You'll notice that all the edges are in some kind of pair like this. And the only way to get into this case is to have only pairs like that. So if on the cube you see all pairs, or you can do a short solution into all pairs, then it might be a good idea to do scallop scallop. Now if that's not true, you want to get to scallop kite. So there's a few ways you can think about this case. So first off, you can think about the bottom as one out here and then one out here. If you separate it, it's a bit more clear. You have the two L's here, which make the scalp kite. Another great way to think about this is one pair and then one line. Again, separating it, that shows the pair and then the line. So connecting these is also another great way to make the kite on bottom. So in this case, let's first try to look for scalp scallop. So in that case, we want to look for all pairs. So let's look at how close we are from that. We have a pair here and a pair here, but then now we have two L's, which is quite difficult to make it do two pairs. So right now, scallop scallop doesn't look the best for this case. Now let's try scallop kite. You can think about kite again as a pair and a line or two L's. So if I try to bring up this four up here to make the scallop, I have an L and then a pair. That really doesn't do anything for us because um, a pair and an L isn't the kite that we want. So let's try something a bit different here. We can try to insert this L through the back like this. And what you'll notice is that connects it with the scallop. And now we have two L's, and that is actually good because we do want two L's for the kite. Because if you bring them together like this, now we have the scalp kite. Cool. So here's another case that we can deal with. So first off, let's try to get a bit more edges on top. We have three here, but actually four might be a bit better here. So now we have the four on top. And then from here, first let's check out scalp scallop. We have two pairs here, which is good. We have a pair here and an L here. So again, if a pair and an L, usually it's not the greatest idea to do scallop scallop. What we can do here is maybe somehow bring the L up here to the top. And now we have this shape. And now you'll notice that we can visualize this as four and one L. But another way to see this is we have four and a line now. So now that we have a line and we have a pair, again, a line and a pair, make a kite. Now we have the kite on bottom and the scalp on top. And then we are good again to do the algorithm. Here's one more example for scalp kite. We have the four on top already, which is nice. And then we have three and one. So scalp scalp won't work too well here because we have two pairs here, another pair here. But then we have this L here, which is not easy to get back into a pair. So like before, it's usually a great idea to pair the L with the scallop because when you do that, like this, pair it through the back, you can think about it as four and as a line. So connect the line with the two on bottom now. Now we have scallop kite. 
So as you saw, scalp cut is the most popular solution that you're gonna get, but sometimes scalp scalp is still good. So here, we have a pair here, pair here, pair here, pair here. So all pairs, that makes a good sign for scalp scalp. So I want this piece to be next to this piece to make the scalp on bottom. So what we can do is hide this to the top, bring this over, and then bring it back down. That creates scalp, and then we can solve this case. Here's another example. I don't have too many edges on top, so let's try to build up two to the top like this. Now we have three. Now in this case, let's evaluate if it's good to do a scallop scallop. So we have a pair here and a pair here, but that's pretty much it. But something quite cool you can do in this scenario is, you see you have this line here, and you kind of have a, like, a line thing here. You can visualize this as a pair and a line here. You can bring up the lines to connect them. And now you made all pairs. From here, just connect the pair with this pair and get scallop scallop. So yeah, that's another simple way to get scallop scallop. So here's another case that we can deal with. So we have three, one, three, one, kind of like an ugly case right here. But you'll actually notice that a simple fix for this is to do one slice here. You'll notice that we have a pair here and then pair here. And we have a line here and a line here. If you remember from before, two lines is really, really good because if you connect those two lines, you can turn them into two pairs. Now we have all pairs in the solution and we can easily reduce this into scalp cut like this and then solve it. So here's my general rule. If you see all pairs, 100% do scalp scallop. If you see two lines like this and the rest are pairs, connect those two lines to get all pairs, then do scalp scallop. If you have any other case, usually it's the best idea to do scalp kite. So to make the kite, whenever you see an L, try to connect it with another L to make the kite. That's one option. Another option with the L is you can bring it to the top layer, connect it with the four, and you can turn it into a line. And lines are useful to connect with a pair to make the kite for scalp kite. So I went through the main ideas in this video, but I won't go through every single case. I think it's quite important to mess around with cases a lot by yourself and figure out what works for each case. You always want to try to be as efficient as possible. Try to find the least number of slices that gets you into those base cases, either scalp kite or scalp scallop. Another great idea during practice is during inspection, take as much time as needed. So during inspection, you want to try to get as far as cube shape as possible. If you can want to look the whole thing, that's great. Sometimes that is quite hard though, but during inspection, you do want to look as far into cube shape as possible. Try to get a lot of moves in, and during inspection, it's also a great idea to try to predict whether you're going to do scalp kite or scalp scallop. If you think you want to get more advanced with cube shape, I do have a video on advanced cube shape, which you can watch over here, which covers every single cube shape case and a few more base cases, which are pretty useful. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful and thank you for watching.